<laughs> hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here with an intro to VAR AC or V-A-R-A-C. And we're going to be using the FT-991A as a greatly oversimplified overview. Over is it? VAR AC is a digital rag chewed mode. It uses the VARA HF TNC protocol to process the digital signal. Now, if you've already set up VARA HF for use with WinLink, then you're already good to go. If not, take a look at this video, see how to download, set up uh, VARA HF, set your rig up to optimize the mode, and make all the necessary settings for VARA HF to work. Then come back to this video and get ready to rag chew with VAR AC. I'll also add a link in the video description. In addition to VARA HF, you'll need the VAR AC software, and there's a link to that in the description. I recommend using the latest versions of VARA HF and VARA AC. So if you downloaded one a while back, yeah, you might want to rethink about downloading it. In any case, you will need VARA HF version 4.6.4 as a prerequisite requirement. This is the website for the VAR AC download. Uh, please note that there is a prerequisite that you have VARA HF, which you would use, and you can go take a look at my video on that if you haven't already done that. Now you're going to scroll down, you're going to complete this little form. Once you put your name, call sign, and a local email address in here, your download will start. You will receive a quick start guide uh, to the email address in a, a week-ish. Uh, you're going to receive an email with uh, a lot of good information in it. One of those things is do's and don'ts for VARAC. And basically they're telling you how to avoid QRMing, the calling frequency, and give you a few things you can use to avoid that. And I've put the text of that email down in the video description. I put the VAR AC shortcut right down here in my taskbar. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and let's go up here to settings. Welcome to settings. Rig control. Obviously PTT control you're going to set to FT991A. Frequency control set to 991A. CAT configuration is going to be your enhanced uh, virtual port with whatever baud rate you have selected and uh, you can test your push to talk and I'm transmitting and I'm receiving uh, you can also test the cat uh, just pick the frequency you want to be on and click test and your rig should change to that we'll go ahead and save that now I'm coming over here to settings we're going to go to VARA setup I put my car call sign and my registration key here. We'll close that. And I'm going to go to sound card. Make sure that you've got the right codex loaded up. And uh, there's two ways you can adjust your ALC. So the first thing you're going to want to have your meter on ALC. And uh, you can have you can adjust it using the DT gain which is under the functions or you can adjust it using this and you want about one third so we're going to press tune and you'll hear tone there's the tone and I'm my ALC is a bit high so I'm going to turn it down until I get about one third ALC I'm at about one third ALC, so I'm going to stop this. We're all set. Now, the first thing I want to show you is sending a beacon. You can set how often your beacons are going to go out. The minimum value that you can send is every 15 minutes, which is good. This is like a long, slow CQ, uh, but you're just going to click on beacon. 
And you see I'm counting down from 15. If you wanted to do it again, if you want to send that out one more time, uh, real quick, you can. You just click on that and re-click Send Beacons. And you see I'm counting down, and that's that. Now I'm going to shut my beacons off. Off, turn it off, for God's sake, turn it off! And I'm going to call CQ. So to call CQ, you're going to click that. You're going to pick your slot. And these, I'm actually going to be calling on the calling frequency, but I'll tell them that I'm in one of these 10 slots. So let me pick two, and you want to click on slot sniffer. That's going to change your rig to your new slot frequency. So my rig is now on 103.5. And I'm clicking and I'm listening and I don't hear anybody. So I can now call CQ. And you see I'm going to send CQ. And then another CQ. And the next go around I'm going to be telling them that I'm going out on slot 2. Okay. So I've got an inc somebody's answering my CQ. K5WH is answering my CQ. So now I'm going to send this message right here. So we'll go back and forth. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Fast forward, selector. And that completes uh, the QSO. Now this has been a very high level intro to using VAR AC with your FT991A. I hope to see you on the mode. And really, the best way to do it, you now have enough information to get on the air and make a few mistakes. Nothing, that, uh, nothing that's going to get you kicked off the bands. But get on there, play with it, make a few contacts. And I hope to see you on the mode and to have a nice QSO with you. If you found this interesting, please give me a like. Oh, I like that. By popping that thumbs up icon. Please share. Share and share a like. This with your friends in the FT991A community, especially on social media. If you have any questions or comments, just say something positive. Please leave a note below. And please consider subscribing and smash that subscribe button so that you'll have quick access to all of my videos. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I'm at your service. This has been another Ham Shack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.